Hi guys, I'm Jack the Greek and welcome back for another episode. Today we have seafood. Yes, we're going to cook more seafood on the Crossroad barbecue. But today we have something special. It's called barbuni. Yes, in Greece they call it barbunaki. But in Victoria, Australia, anywhere else, in English, you can call it the beautiful red mullet. And here it is here. A beautiful fish, very sweet, but also very delicate. So when you're cleaning it, if you want to come in close, you got to be very careful because it's got a very soft skin and when you take the scales off you don't want to ruin the skin because you won't be able to to fry it or, or cook it on the barbecue traditionally you would fry this so i'm going to make a traditional greek dish today as you would probably normally have it in greece so beautiful barbuni with some peperi alati some rigani and some lemon it's time now to prepare our fish and we're going to cook it on the crossroad barbecue with all four burners on low, and as you've seen before, we're going to cook it in our beautiful frying pan. So what we do is we need to prepare our fish, and very quickly, we'll just grab another one of these, grab a little flour, I just use whatever flour I find in the pantry, but obviously plain flour would be the best. Put a couple of half cups like that, just so you can get it ready to flour. And we'll put that away just there. Then we'll just grab our fish, and this is how I flour my fish, I just put it in like that, nice and gently, give it a bit of a cover, dust it off, and it's ready to go. So we'll put that on the side, and I'll show you a couple more, just like this. There we go. I make sure there's no flour on the inside, and I just put them up there together, just like that. Okay, so we're nearly finished with our fish, and as you can see, I'll put them up here nicely on the, on, on the chopping board. Just so you can see how I've put the flour and how I've floured the fish. Very light, you don't want a thick layer, and you want to be able to dust it off like that as well. It just needs a little bit there. So we'll put these two away. And we've had we've had our, our frying pan in the crossroad barbecue for around three, four minutes now, and it's ready to go. Nice and hot and nice and warm. So we'll just put it in the middle, just leave it there. And if you want to come in close and have a look, I'm probably going to put three or four pieces at a time. That goes, it depends on the size, but I like dusting it off like that. I don't like too much flour. Oh, bus, and look at that. Beautiful. There we go. One, two, put three, just like that. So I'm not going to put too many in the pan. I'm probably going to cook, I'd say, I'll put four in. I'm not going to put any more because you don't want to put too much fish in there or any ingredients or whatever you do meat fish when you're frying because you don't want to reduce the temperature of the oil too much and then it starts boiling you want it to actually fry so we're going to have that on there on the crossroad barbecue for around about three or four minutes either side and then we'll finish off the next batch as well and then we'll plate it up with some salt pepper some lemon a bit of olive oil and of course oregano okay. as you can see now the fish it's nearly cooked. I've turned it over and look how nice and golden red it's become. And that's why it's called the red mullet. And again, of course, in Greek, barbuni. So what we'll do is, is we'll just grab the first few and just put them in the, in the pan, just so they can let the oil drip off it. Just a little bit. They're getting very delicate. See how delicate they are? They're very delicate fish. And you're cooking them and frying them. And we'll put it in there. So I'm just going to put that on the side while we start preparing our other fish. But I'm going to wait about 30 seconds because I wanted to get my, my, iron, uh, my, iron, my pan hot again. So we'll get our plate and you can decorate it with anything you like, your fish. I want to put some rocket. But that's a nice sort of touch to put at the bottom, just like this. So we'll put our rocket. I can see the oil it's getting ready again for our next batch. So we'll be there. And we'll have a couple of lemons on the side. Just like this. I'll take it by knife. Like this, like that. We'll cut them into four. And we'll probably be plating it up just like this. So just like that. And now, it's been about 30 seconds. Let's put the rest of our fish back in. So come in close again, and you'll see that I keep to my tradition and make sure that I've got the least flour on there as possible. Beautiful, there we go. Put the next one in. And if you've noticed, I've put them the opposite way because you can actually fit more that way. 
Here we go. Just there. So we'll let them cook as well for another five or six minutes on the crossway barbecue with all four burners on low. We don't want to overcook it or burn it. And we'll be back to plate it all up. Of us. Coming close and you'll see our second batch is just about ready as well. There we go. Look at that beautiful red mullet. As they call it in Greece, barbuni. So we'll put it now in our second tray, just like this. Very delicate. Just like that. And we'll probably put one more. So I'll just turn our burners off now, just like this. And there's a little bit, too much heat being generated there. And we'll put that there as well. So while that, while they're draining a little bit and the paper is absorbing the oil, I'll start plating up the ones over here. So we have these here, just like this. So we've got our plate, and of course, we've got our beautiful fish. It's very delicate, so be very, very careful with this. And there we go, just like this. Beautiful. There we go. One there. A closer. And I actually like ones from this batch too as well. We'll get some nice ones here, nice size. And we'll put them in as well. Beautiful. Just like this. And one from here as well. There we go. Beautiful. There we'll put these aside. And we'll feed them as well to the family for lunch in about an hour. So there we have it. We haven't put some salt and pepper, which is what's left to do. Some beautiful salt, just like this, on our fish. I like to put pepper, not everyone does. There's a little bit of pepper just there. And of course, we can't forget our last two ingredients. A little bit of rigani, which I like putting on on all my fish, like that. And of course, our beautiful lemony. So here we are, opas, beautiful. There we go, beautiful. And there you have it, all in around 15 minutes, cooked on the Crossray barbecue, a beautiful barbuni, or in English, red mullet. And again, thanks for watching my video, opas from Jack the Greek.